Hello again and thanks for tuning in. I thought maybe I would do a little bit of play-by-play -play reporting on the attempts to uh, bring back to life some pretty rigid rubber American Flyer uh, roadbed that I picked up um, about a week ago now. And um, thank you very much for those of you that have uh, sent me emails and text messages and comments on some suggestions for rehabilitating old rubber. Um, so just to share with you a little bit of what I have learned, um, when you have old rubber, it has something called plasticizers in it. And over time, these plasticizers leak out off gas. I don't know what the proper terminology is for them, but somehow they disappear and the rubber gets more and more brittle. And in the case of this roadbed, again, assuming it's probably something like 70 years old, it's been around for a while. I don't know, you know how it was stored, so there's all kinds of contributing X factors. But um, one of the solutions that was given to me was to try covering the roadbed with simple silicone spray. And silicone spray apparently has plasticizers in it, and when you coat rubber with it, uh, that rubber reabsorbs plasticizers and does uh, have some improvement in its flexibility. Uh, what I've been quite pleased with thus far is that, um, I don't know how well you can see this, but this track uh, roadbed had some bends and twists in it um, that just have happened through time, and so it was, it was curled up. So uh, all I did was I sprayed it one day, I put it in a plastic bag, checked it the next day. It didn't seem like it had improved very much, so I coated it again put it back in the plastic bag. And now this is two days later, so uh, we are on 30, hour 36 at this point. And um, the, the flexibility has increased. Um, before, if I tried to do this, it would actually crack. Um, so uh, I will say that, uh, that you can rehab road bed, rubber road bed um, with silicone spray. Um, what I don't know um, is if I should uh, tell you it'll happen in 24 hours or 36 hours or 48 hours um, because I told you wrong earlier this has actually been it's been 48 hours uh, no it's been 72 hours now since I first applied um, the spray and then 24 hours after that I did a second coat so if you're not thoroughly confused uh, basically in this case it has taken three days of um, closed closed uh, proximity close proximity to silicone spray and uh, definitely has made some progress thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you have time to comment and if you haven't subscribed please join us and there'll be more updates to come uh, one of the other things that i want to walk through is uh, refurbishing bad or rusty track um, along with this old roadbed uh, was some track that um, had been in the elements. And so I've got uh, quite a few pieces that are extremely rusty. And so that's another thing I want to experiment with and share all that with you. Thanks again for stopping in and enjoy your American Flyer trains.